Hi there, I'm Rita, and today on Fresh Table, I'm gonna share how you can take a head of cauliflower and turn it into rice. This grain-free option is amazing if you are paleo, keto, Whole30, or just trying to get more veggies in your diet. I'm also sharing five bowl ideas with the cauliflower rice that are so incredibly good, you're not going to wanna miss this, so let's dive in. Cauliflower is a cruciferous vegetable, meaning it's very rich in vitamins and minerals, such as vitamin C, B6, and K. It's high in fiber and antioxidants. I just washed this head of cauliflower and just cut your head directly in half, and then it's gonna look like that on the inside. And cut the stalk in the center, which is gonna create these little florets. Now I'm gonna remove the stalk on the other side, and that's how simple it is to clean a cauliflower head. We're gonna be using the food processor, so I wanna make sure these fit down the chute. So I am just going to quickly cut these into smaller pieces, that way I know they'll fit. To rice this cauliflower so quickly, we're just going to use a food processor, and then we're going to add a grater attachment. This keeps all of the cauliflower in unison, and it's so incredibly fast. So we're just going to add the grater part, add the lid, and then we're just going to start feeding our cauliflower florets. So in a glass bowl, add the rice, and then one head of cauliflower makes approximately four cups of riced cauliflower. Add a few tablespoons of olive oil in a cast iron pan over medium heat. Chop half of an onion, and then add the onion to the pan. Season with salt, and then once the onions are soft and slightly translucent, add the riced cauliflower. Stir the cauliflower and the onion together. After 10 to 15 minutes, the cauliflower rice is done. You can add a little bit more salt if you desire. With this cauliflower rice, you can do so many different flavors with it, so let me give you a few examples. My first favorite is to take a Greek baked chicken, add some Kalamata olives, some crumbled feta, diced cucumbers, and some chopped parsley. Then top with some freshly squeezed lemon juice and a drizzle of olive oil. For the next option, add a few scoops of black beans, pico de gallo, a fried egg, some slices of avocado, and then top with some pumpkin seeds. For the next flavor option, I sauteed some vegetables like zucchini, mushrooms, onions, and ginger. Then I added a piece of baked ginger salmon, then sprinkled with some sesame seeds and topped with some sliced green onions. This next bowl couldn't be easier. I added some oven roasted asparagus and a piece of chicken. I added flavors of fresh olive oil, garlic, thyme, and lemon. For this last bowl, we're going to add some shredded grass-fed beef, sauteed veggies of green and yellow bell pepper with onion and garlic. Then we're going to add some red cabbage and then just top with a lime wedge. Out of all these bowls here, I am choosing the salmon bowl, and I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. The fresh cauliflower has the most incredible mild flavor. It complements whatever you're enjoying it with. It's so incredibly healthy and such a grain-free alternative. Thank you guys so much for coming along and watching me in today's recipe. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new recipe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.